other than something to write with. So if you have anything else on your desk, put it away. You just need a pencil and you need a piece of paper. And this is just for when we practice some problems, but you'll have something to write at the end of the This is your favorite class of the day, right? No, yes. Well, hi, no. Yes. Number one. 
So I think you're really good. So you can go bigger. That's the same one as George. I got, I got, you can go I got bigger. George bigger than that. Oh, you got one, four, eight, three. I got. I got one, eight, oh, eight, on. six. Okay. Got eight, 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 eight. Oh, somebody got one, four, eight, three. Okay, you got the same one as Christopher and as George, but it can be bigger. You can go bigger. Oh, I did the one. So why don't you have one, one, eight, six? You've got the one four seven four. Well, the kids have one four eight three. You got one four eight three. You got one four eight three. Ooh. Okay, so you go even bigger. Okay. So you got the one one seven six. Ooh, you got the one four eight three. I okay, so I want to talk to you guys about how to do this. This was just me seeing how your adding looked, and do you understand the idea of place value, where you put the numbers makes it bigger or smaller in the answer. So, Michaela, can you talk to me about how you decided to start this problem? Well, I decided to start the problem by using the biggest that we had to make could be like, so I would start off with numbers for the 100 would be 8 and 6. Okay, you're right. Why would Michaela want to start with her biggest numbers, the 8 and the 6, in the hundreds place? Because it's the biggest number in the, the, the number, so it must need to be the, like the first the first one because it's the biggest one. Okay. If you make the uh, one thousand, you can make it six thousand. I got a question though. If eight and six are the biggest, couldn't I put them at the end and put them in the ones place? I mean, oh, it's still eight plus six. Throw Eric. That's what I thought. It's not going to make it into the thousands, and it's going to make it into. Uh, Hundreds or the tens. Okay, so you're saying if I put the eight and the six here in the hundreds, that's going to bump me into the thousands place, right? But if I put the eight and the six over in the one spot, that's going to bump me into the tens. Tens aren't as big as thousands, are they? Okay, so what were your next numbers? Michaela, you said eight and six. Yeah, my first number. Maggie, you had eight and six, and your next numbers were three and five. Oh, no. I see something really interesting on Maggie's paper. Do you have an apple tea yeah, in here? You do? Okay, then we're good. I want to try something here, Maggie. I'm going to take a picture of your paper. And then see if I can bump it up on the apple TV. I know one thousand. Six 
plus 8 is 14. Yeah. 5 plus 3 is 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. It's just so That's community yeah, property, so right? And it, order doesn't matter. In yeah. addition, you get the same answer. So, you guys can mix this up anyway. But what's the one thing that Maggie did? And this is the same as what Michaela was explaining. She did what? What's here? These are the largest two numbers in the hundreds place, right? And Eric was explaining why we want that, because it'll bump us into the thousands place. And then what are the next two yeah. biggest numbers? Uh, five, and three. five and three. So she has the five and the three in the tens place, because again, that's the biggest, and that bumps it over. And then she put the smallest, the four little one and two, in the ones place. Good. All right, this was a challenge, just to see if you guys could play around with adding. All right, let's go back. You're going to have one of these on your homework. Just so you know. <coughs> All right. So we got that. I want to know from you guys. What's my question? Look at the screen. How many ways can you add? All right. Erin, Daniel, you guys are watching. How many different ways can you add? I'm talking strategies. How many ways have your teachers taught you in the past to add? The what? Associative. Okay. That's a property that you could use. I'm thinking more like methods. Like, think back to how many of you guys had Miss Hatcher in second grade? Can you guys think back to the first way that Miss Hatcher taught you guys? Oh. Yeah. I don't think she taught you the way we showed Maggie's work, lining up the numbers. That was not the first way you learned to add in second grade. Do you guys remember some of the other ways? Some of them you wrote this way. What else did you do? You had stuff on your desk. You had things you were playing with on your desk. Yay. All right, so you could add with base 10 blocks. Now, you don't want to add with base 10 blocks in fourth grade because the numbers in fourth grade get really big, like 251,347 plus something. I don't think you want a 10,000 and 100,000 base 10 blocks in your desk. You would all need desks the size of that big circle table back there. But can you guys explain to me, if we use base 10 blocks, what comes up? I'm going to represent 362. What did I just put up on the screen? 300. 300? So each of those represents 100. 100. So I did 3. What's going to come up next? 1,000. Now, so I'm doing 300. How many times? Make 
100 block? 10. 10. 10. So I would take 10 of these. So let me go to purple. I would take these two maybe and these and I would trade them in the basket for 100 block. So then I would have five left. And how many hundreds do I have? I've got this one circle of purple. Eight. 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 And then the other seven, so a total of eight. Same answer. Eight. 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 Anybody want to do all your math this year this way? Yeah. No, don't no. raise your hand. No, I no, like doing You really mental don't want to do this. I like mental math. Mental math is nice. I like it. I like the vertical? Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Here's one that I'm going to call. I'm going to call this one partial sums. This is another one that I know you did, and then you probably did it in third grade. On your homework that I gave you tonight, the first question I give you asks you to do the same addition problem in three different ways. And I gave you a hint of some of the ways I'm showing you today. So make sure that you know at least three of these ways to show the adding. Partial sums is like this. Partial sums... How many hundreds are in 362? Uh, three. Three. I'm tired. Got to wake these kids up more. 300. And then how many tens? Six. Six. So that's 60. So notice how I'm making this an addition problem. Plus two. Yay. Good. You guys know your vocab. This is called expanded form. What's the expanded form for 439? Word form. 
see what I do. This is a method I use a lot just in my head. I don't get out paper, pencil, draw a picture. But I'll count by the nines. I'll say, well, nine more is this. And then I'll be like, well, this many tens is this. Okay, this many hundreds is this. This is a really good mental math strategy. If you have to add in your head, just do the hundreds, tens, ones. Okay. You want to do this for your entire homework assignment? Can you imagine no. if I gave you 215,487 plus 478,591? And you had to skip count? No, I'm not sure. Ah, okay, let's not do it then. Now, I'm going to show you one more method before we get into what they call the standard adding. This one I'm calling a tape diagram. They got fancy words for these. But I want you guys to do this with me on your paper. Okay? okay. We're going to do the same I did problem. everything you do on this paper. You're awesome. I Bonus did. points for you. Alright. This is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to write down here. We have hundreds, tens, and ones, right? So everybody write what I have up here. We have 362. And we're adding 489. But we're going to draw a picture. Now, everybody look, I'm going to make kind of a chart here. I'm going to break this up in a picture. This is going to be my hundreds. This is going to be my tens. And this is going to be my ones. H, T, and O. Sure. Can you draw this with me? Everybody's drawing. So everybody's making a little chart of hundreds, tens, and ones. Doesn't have to be beautiful. Just needs to be functional. I have really messy handwriting, so I think you know you don't want it to be too pretty. So I don't feel bad that, that I can't make it pretty. It's a sign of a true genius when you're messy, right? Right? And when you write with your left hand. Anybody in here left hand? Yeah. Me. I'm your right hand. True genius. There you go. Can't say okay. that. Actually, I can't have the both. All right, I can't. I'm purely left-handed. My right hand is very... I can't. I can't. I'm like... Okay, I'm going to do... Okay, ready? I'm going to just put some dots in here. This is a... Even... Okay, listen. This is even easier than the base 10 blocks where you'd have to draw the big squares and the block lines. This is easier than the number line where you got to draw these big hops. I'm going to do this. You guys tell me what I'm doing. Take a look at the screen. For that first number, I'm going to do this. Well, we have to draw it. You guys look and try to figure out what did I just do. We tried. We tried the one. It's three okay, so George, what did I do? Why did I put three dots here? Because there's three hundred. Because there's three hundred. So I put one dot for each hundred. So you guys can go ahead and do that. Three hundred. So there's three dots. Then in the tens, there's six tens, so I did six dots. And then in the ones, there's two ones, so I did two dots. Can you guys do the same thing for 489? Yeah. 362 has two ones, right? And then you're going to do the 489 underneath it? That's um, You don't have to because we're going to add them. So maybe you, if the lines are, it's okay. I guess it's your choice. So 489 is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 80. So 8 tens. So this is the exact same as what we did before, but I'm making it a little bit more symbols, a little bit less drawing each time. All right, we're going to start in the same way. We're going to start with the ones. Everybody look at your ones column, once you have all these drawn in. And add them up. How many total dots do you have in your ones column? Um, 11. 11. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Jacob just did exactly what I want us all to do. Can I show you guys what Jacob just did? He went like this. Look at the screen and tell me why he did this. He took a group like this. And then that group, I'm going to do an 
arrow in. Jacob, I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw an arrow in, and then he put an extra dot over here. What is he doing when he did that? Carrying. Ooh, that's the carrying? So he took ten ones. Do you guys agree it's ten? You could have yeah. used it any way you wanted, but make sure it's ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten ones translated into one ten. That little arrow helps us understand where it went. Okay, so how many ones are left in the ones column? One. 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 Okay. So that's good. We have one one in our addition. Now go to your tens column. Can you guys do the same one thing? So Jonathan, now how many tens do you have total here? Did you draw your extra one over yet? Nope, you need to do that. So Jonathan, make sure you circle, circle ten of these and draw a line and put an extra one over there. Are carrying. I want to see everybody draw this circle-y thing. Group, I want to see that you group 10 ones and carry it over. That looks good. Make sure you actually put a dot over there so you keep track of it. Nice. I've seen circles jump, jumping over everywhere. So how many tens do we have now? Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Is that too many? Yeah. Yes. So can I bump another group of 10 over? Yes. Yes. Okay, so take a look up here. I'm going to grab 10 of them. Does it matter which 10 I grab? No. No? Just any 10? All right, I'm going to make it fun. Let's see. I'm making mine up on the back. Oh, here's my fun 10. What do you think? Ooh, did I do it right? Yeah. One, two, it does kind of like a mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But why are you recording a group ten and not eight or nine or seven? Well, because you have to group ten. Why? Because then you can pick because this isn't a good enough answer. Why do we group ten? Oh, because ten equals equals because you have to. Because ten ten equals a hundred and ten ones equals a ten. Ten. And you know what our number system's called? The base 10 number system. Our number system is built on 10s. Do you know when you get to middle school and high school, I'm going to make your brains explode and I'm going to start making you write numbers in base 8 or base 4. Really? Where every 4 makes a 10. Really? Four tens we go. Is your computer speak to base 2? Yeah, it's called binary code. Computers just do zeros and ones. Whoa, we just made one brain explode. <laughs> All right, we'll stick with 10s for today. So this is 10s. Make sure you draw your arrow and draw your dots. So, this right here is coming over here and it gets a dot. Now, how many tens are left? I got a little crazy with my drawing. I gotta be careful hey. I actually oh, count Oh yeah, them. we did this before. So we said there was one one left here. How many tens are left after I grouped? One, two, three, four, five. I better get 851, right? This is the same problem we've done every time. So there's five left. Okay, now I went over here. How many hundreds do I have? Eight. Eight. Some of you might have forgotten to draw that dot. When you group ten and you move it over, make sure you draw the dot. That's eight. What do you guys think of this tape diagram method? Yeah. Uh, I like it's it. more easier. Like it? It's way easier than the exactly. I Yes. I know. Like what we're doing. Like the number line. You like the number line? No, I like this one. I get out of here. Ready? Now, I'm going to give you one more method, and this is the method you're going to stick with pretty much for the rest of your math career. You want some fancy words? It's called the standard oh, algorithm. Form. Want to hear a really weird word? Algorithm. The standard what? algorithm. I'll show you how to spell that in just a second. Okay, everybody take a look. Algorithm. Algorithm. I don't get algorithm. Algorithm. All right. I'm going to do it up here next to my tape diagram, and I want you guys to explain to me what you're doing. And I know some of you have already done this when we did our little challenge probably at the beginning, but this is what we call the standard algorithm. Take a look here. We start here. How many ones are there? Eleven. Eleven. When we had eleven ones over there in our tape diagram, what did we do? We, we, like, we changed the... We changed... The... Uh, what? We changed the... Uh, ten. Ten. No. ten of them one. into a ten, right? Yeah. And then we had one left. So this is what we do. Two plus nine is eleven. So There's one left over, but then ten of them got carried over to the tens place. How
How do we mark that on our picture? Oh, on top. We add one on the top of the six. Good. This is called carrying, right? I know you guys have done this a little bit in second grade, more in third grade, so this shouldn't be brand new for you, but I'm trying to connect it to what you guys just showed me here. So do you guys see how this one up here you carry is actually this group of ten that you bumped over? Right? Okay, then we're going to add up our tens column. So, what do we get here? One plus six, seven, plus eight, fifteen. And we have fifteen dots there, right? Yeah. yeah. What did we do with ten of them? Just write the five. We, 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 we moved it to a We moved ten of them over to the hundred, right? So we had five left. So we had the five left, and then we carry one group of ten over here with this dot. So that's still carry that we put up here, the one. And then one plus three plus four? Eight. Anybody know how to spell the word algorithm? Oh, no. 
Well, wait, so it's not a zero. So that's 42. I wanted to oh, add 42 oh. to 397. What did I do wrong? Oh. So I have to be careful with my places. This is what place? Hundreds. That's hundreds. But I just told you guys it was 42. So you have to line them up right. So what should I, what should this problem have looked like? It should have been 397 plus, plus four where should the four go? Four to go and the like underneath the, the nine. The nine, good. So the four should have gone underneath the nine, and then a 42. 817 doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah. You know what drives me a little crazy with my middle school and high school students? They do a problem like that, and they don't even think about it. If I give you about 400 of something, and then I give you 42 more, is there any way in the world you have 800? No. No, but sometimes in math, when we start calculating, we stop thinking. We just do numbers. We just mix them together, and whatever comes out, we assume it's right. I get students who even tell me their calculator gave them the wrong answer. You know something? Uh, so, like that. so you know some people do like this. They did it. They did it. Um, they didn't like, uh, they didn't like, uh, yes. And if you think about it, I'm going to show you guys how to add right to left later and see if we can do that too. Alright, so there's my error here. What's my error on this one? I got 1,218 as my answer. Oh, you write like this down. Ooh. You can no, you can just look at it and see if you can tell me the error. You never carry, like, Ooh, I don't need to carry those. Two plus six is eight. But then I mean, ten. Ten. You never put the like four plus seven is the eleven up there. Four plus and seven is eleven. Eleven. And you never put the one. On I didn't put the one there, did I? Nine plus three is twelve. But I should have carried a one up here because four plus seven up here that was an eleven. Carry a one. So what should this have been? Um, uh, thirteen. Three. Yeah. So it should have been one thousand three hundred eighteen. Good. Being able to find your error or someone else's error is really important. All right, I got a couple more challenge problems for you. I want you guys to do this. This is on your paper. Everybody do this. You're going to find me a three-digit number to add 375. So everybody write down 375 plus. I want you to find another three-digit number so that you don't carry at all. No carry. Everybody make up their own number. <laughs> So that you okay. don't hear I it. I finished one, one, one. one. Yeah. We add it up. We add it up. And then you can add it up to check. So, Jacob told me one, one, one. Yeah. Do you agree? Does one, one, one work? Yeah. You can also do five, two, two. Ooh. I did five, two, one. 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 He found the largest possible number to add without caring. So his answer is 999. What number did you use? 624. How did he figure that out? Um, you see, like... What did he do? Look at the left here. He counted. Uh, um, one less. One less than what you needed to carry. Good. Five and four is nine. If it was one more, you have to carry. So 624 would work? There's no carrying, right? Yeah. Five plus four is nine. Seven plus two is nine. Three plus six is nine. One, one, one works. Five, two, one works. Five, two, two works. One zero zero works. Okay, how about this? Find me a number, same problem, three, seven, five plus, but I want you to have to carry in the ones place. Nine, nine, nine. So, I only want you to carry once. I want you to carry from the ones over to the tens. Everybody find me a number that would work. So raise your 111 or your 522. Give me a number so you have to carry once only. Only one carrying allowed. One carrying from the ones place to the tens. That's it. You're done. What'd you get?
5 plus 5 equals 10. Good. So if you guys have a number 5 or bigger here, you're right. What is the largest number? Eyeballs on me. Maybe I'll come back sometime and show you that one. 